Welcome back to my vlog and I know I look crazy but I'm cold and I'm really sleepy. I've barely slept the last two days. I'm doing something a little different with this one. I am showing the updated version of the room I'm sitting in right now which I call my woman cave. It's not my bedroom. There's no bed in here. This is where I am all day. It's my woman cave. You know, if a man can have a man cave, I can have a woman cave. Um, it's not a she shed because it's not outside. It's inside. So, it's a woman cave. I have viewers that are into me being into interior designing. That's what I go to school for and that's what I'm really good at. I decided I would post this vlog. Even though I wasn't sure because I lost all of the footage of me actually doing the room. I hope you enjoy and if you like hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next vlog. thinking about doing this vlog for a little while but I wasn't sure if or really when I was gonna do it but because certain people like watching my work my design work I decided to I decided to go ahead and show this was my very first project I started this at the beginning of the year and it took me a couple months to get this done and this was way a way bigger project than my bedroom even though my bedroom is twice this size damn it three times this was a harder room because number one that up there you know how hard it was for me to paint that and yes I painted this room myself the only part I didn't paint was the ceiling but I painted all the walls all of the um I guess you call them beat boards I painted the room okay and just because of the details of the room this was harder to do it's a lot easier to, to just go pick out furniture for a bedroom than it is smaller details like this but anyway let's just get into it let me give you a little backstory of this room before i start um this room has been changed now three times this room was initially an outdoor patio um, so there were no walls here at first it was outside the, the house stopped at this room my mom's room and then you come out here and you sit and you're outside but when I had my son she had it built in and then it became his playroom it was still the same color yeah in my room I'm sorry about that I got interrupted but the room was not this color it was the best way I can describe it to you, it was the color of Thousand Island dressing. It was that kind of orange. This part was a like a brick color, really dark, rich red color. Like literally the color of bricks was this and the ceilings. And then the walls was the color of Thousand Island dressing. Um, and I did take, I, I was vlogging as I did this room, but let me give you the backstory on that. I upgraded my iPhone and I didn't have my files backed up and I had all my videos for my camera on my phone so when I upgraded I lost all of that so that's another reason why I wasn't even sure if I was even going to make this vlog or not because I wanted to show the whole process and I had all of that I had while I was painting as I was adding stuff I lost it all but that's okay, you know, I think I might still have a few pieces and then I'm gonna try to find some old pictures of the room, how it was when it was my son's playroom and his bedroom. And this was initially an outdoor patio and then she had it built in and then it was my son's playroom. And then when he got older, we turned it to his bedroom. This chair was already here and this chair is actually pink, but I didn't want a big pink ass chair in my room. So I covered it. So now it looks like an off-white chair. So this chair, when it was his bedroom, and disregard all that, I already got Christmas ornaments out and that's some school stuff and my workout stuff. I have Christmas ornaments over, over there in the bag too. But yeah, this chair is over there. 
and it was a big pink chair. His bed was right here. There was a square table over here in the corner and it had a big box TV. Actually, no, I'm wrong. This chair was over there. And then the TV was over here. And then his bed was across the door. And that was all that was in here. I came in and I clearly repainted the room. And I will give y'all details on where I got everything from because I know I'm gonna get questions on that. And you know, why not share? I repainted the room, you gotta do that first. Oh, and my son's stuff is now in my dad's old room. My dad passed away last year. So then we just gave my son his room, took the furniture, well his bed out of here, and his Ninja Turtle stuff out of here, and put it in there, in my dad's old room. So now he has a full bedroom. I painted the room. This was the first big piece I had, the desk. I got the desk from Walmart online and I forgot to pick that up. But yeah, I wanted an antique, well no, I, I wasn't sure what kind of desk I wanted. I think I wanted an antique desk, but when I saw this one, I was like, this is the one. And again, I got it from Walmart online and I knew I wanted a computer chair because I wanted it to be comfortable. You know, I got big boobs, I'm plus size, my ass is not small. And I knew I was gonna be spending a lot of time out here, so I wanted it to be comfortable. So I got that from Amazon. And then this picture up here, I got it from Amazon too. And it's three pieces, but it looks like one piece. And I actually have something that's gonna go up there. It's in the closet. I just, I'm waiting for my cousin to put a cement nail in the wall, because the walls are cement. But I'm not worried about it. It's not a big hurry. And then because that's Paris, I got this Paris box from Michaels. Um, and then I wanted some candles. And I got these from the Dollar Tree. I got two of them. And then I got these, the glass from Dollar Tree, one here and one here. And they have potpourri and then these are like rocks. And then all of my words, you're gonna see words throughout the room. These are actually handmade. There's an Etsy shop that makes them. You can pick what color you want. And they actually have some pieces where you can get whatever words you want, but hashtag boss. And then they also make the, these in cup holder, a oh, pencil cup holder, but I just got little bits in it. And then I even got a little Paris lamp to go with the Paris. And I got that from Walmart in the store. These two things I got from Walmart. I'll let it sit here so y'all can read it. And then my clock, it's rose gold to go with the theme. Got that from Walmart. And then I have my name really big up here. And I actually got those letters from Michaels and they were white and I spray painted them and I glued them to a piece of plywood and my cousin he nailed them down in the board and we had this board up here and we had one up here too but I had it taken down because when it was my son's room we had pictures up there so I was like you know what I'll keep it and I'll just put my name up there those are glass and I just put some rocks on them and I got those from Michaels and all the rocks came from Michaels and the flowers came from the Dollar Tree and there's one up there so it looks like it's growing out the flowers are growing out this I got from Walmart the actual cube came from Walmart and then these came from Walmart and then there's more of these words from the Etsy shop and this is actually two pieces but I have it stacked and then this is glitter. I don't know if you can tell, but it's glitter. And then this one. And then this one I got from Michaels and again, it was white and I spray painted it. That is that. And then the pillows that are on this chair, I got them from Walmart. There are my curtains. I got those from Walmart and these are new blinds too. All of the blinds in our house is this color. Got these from Lowe's, the blinds, but the curtains came from Walmart. And then I have a rug 
and it matches my curtains. And when I got this rug, I didn't know that it matched because you know when it's rolled up, it looks different. And then when I unrolled, I was like, oh, it matches the curtain. So I guess it's like a whole set. And then I wanted a rug to put at the door and it matches too. Yeah, this is all Christmas ornaments. All Christmas ornaments. And of course you gotta have a TV. And I knew I wanted my TV on the wall. Yeah. And it's a smart TV. So it has YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, which I've never watched Netflix. I know, shocker. I don't believe in paying to watch TV. Even though technically you pay a cable bill, but that's different. But yeah, I knew I wanted it on the wall and it does move. I can't figure out how to do that, but it does go flat against the wall. But it just stays like this because I can't figure out how to make it move. So, but it does move. Then my ceiling fan. It's a LED and it's white. Got it from Lowe's. And there's another window back there. And the paint, you know, there are holes from pictures. I gotta fill it up, so disregard that. But let me see. This one I think I got from, I don't know, some of it I got from Lowe's and some of it I got from Walmart. I think this one I got from Walmart. And then I think the footboard gray I got from Lowe's. And the ceiling I got from Lowe's, the white. This, this was my first project and like I said, it took me a couple months to do this. Let me just make sure I hit on everything. I am not quite done, but I'm as done as I'm gonna get right now because I had to put a pause on this room because I did my bedroom. And now I'm gonna start doing my son's room at the beginning of the year. But I'm, it's done enough. It, you know, it's about 95-ish percent. It's just a few more things I would wanna do. Then this was all me, handpicked by me, painted by me. This was when I first started realizing I'm good at this. I didn't second guess myself on anything. So this is what started me now being in school for interior design. So yeah. This is it. Thanks for watching the updated version of my woman cave. I hope you enjoy. Like always, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.